Okay. Here we go. Hang on to your wigs and keys, ladies and gentlemen. Our first guests are multiple Academy Award winners and two of the finest actors in cinema history. And they star in a new film entitled Little Fockers. <laughs> Little Fockers. Which opens December 22nd. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the new Siegfried and Roy. Robert De Niro and Dustin Hoffman. Okay. Thank you. We're out of time. Good to see you. Glad to have you both here. Welcome to the show, gentlemen. Nice to see you. See you. <laughs> Why is it you're here together? We've, we've both left our wives. <laughs> <laughs> well, I sure would like to help you both out, but... <laughs> Uh, Dustin Hoffman, of course, you've been here uh, several times. We've gotten to know you over the uh, years. Thank yes. you very much for your time. Thank you for um, having me. It's the first time uh, Mr. De Niro has been here. Thank you very much for being here. You know. Yeah. We've been, we've been on the air for 30 years. <laughs> I, uh, we're, right now we're on CBS. We used to be on NBC. Yeah. I live in your neighborhood, literally your neighborhood. We're neighbors, and this is your first time. And, uh, what have I done? Oh, God, I don't know. I just, uh, you, well, whatever. Dustin, he'll explain to you. Uh, Oh, Dustin. Dustin will explain. <laughs> All right, Dustin, what's the story? If you ask me the questions that you have uh, designated for Bob, I, I can maybe answer. <laughs> you know, this is not a legal proceeding. <laughs> I, I, I am the, the De Niro whisperer. Go ahead. Go ahead. I've, I've seen you on other talk shows. <laughs> I have been, yeah, no, I have been on that. Uh, and I, we send little cards back to yeah. little jokes. Back. Yeah, and I read them to the audience. Oh, you do? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And they say, well, that's great. How come he ain't here? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. You guys are uh, uh, close in age. Uh, I, I believe Mr. Hoffman is a little older than you. Is that about right? A little bit. Yeah. A little bit older. Yeah. <laughs> did, you, did you start in the same class uh, in terms of uh, actors, uh, young actors working in New York? I can say one thing, which uh, I've done about, I guess, about four films with Bob. And uh, it was only the last film. I guess it was Little Fuckers. Uh, <laughs> Yes, I said, I said, pronounced it right. <laughs> and and suddenly we're in between takes, and Bob says to me, uh, out of nowhere, 
which is his won't. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, you remember 1969 when you did uh, Midnight Cowboy? And I said... I wasn't begging. Uh, and I said, yes, I remember doing that film. He says, do you remember the, uh, the party afterwards? And I said, kind of, not really. He says, he says it was on 2nd Avenue on like 34th Street or something. I said, really? How, how, how do you know? He said, I was your waiter. Wow. Wow. No, and actually what it was was um, it was um, a thing for McCarthy. Oh, at that time. I got it wrong? And it was the night that Bobby Kennedy was assassinated. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, he brought a good story I down. <laughs> well, Bob, I know you got a car waiting. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Well, uh, I mean, sadly enough, but you know, that's uh, sadly it is our lives. Uh, and, and you talk about uh, Robert Duvall and uh, Gene Hackman. Were you I in that group as no, well? No no, 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 not you, him. I'm talking to him. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, he was not in that group. He was almost a generation younger. He younger? Will never yeah. stop. Yeah. And, and the first film that you guys worked to, together on was, uh, what was it, Wag the Dog? Wag the Tail? No, it was uh, Sleepers. Sleepers. Sleepers, yeah. Sleepers. Who else was in the film? Uh, Brad Pitt. Brad was in it? Was he in it? Yeah. <laughs> yes? He was in it. How long have you guys been married? <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Oh gosh! Um, uh, in in terms of uh, the work you do, acting, similar uh, styles of preparation, different styles of preparation. Bob, <laughs> I think you know everybody um, has their own way of working, and I and I Dustin and I probably have ways that are very similar and ways that aren't, you know, and and. Uh, Depends on um, you know what the part is. And, uh, yeah. Okay, Bob, five points over to you, Dustin. <laughs> Let me ask you a question. Uh, almost a, to a man, every actor uh, that we have on sites, uh, Marlon Brando is a big influence. The same for both of you guys. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, Brando was great. Brando, to me, was uh, James Dean, um, uh, Montgomery Cliff, Geraldine Page, Kim Stanley. Mm -hmm. What about uh, James Dean? When I see a movie, he was in the, uh, the, the, the movie ad adaptation of East of Eden. Uh, and and uh, I, I couldn't hardly wait for James Dean to come into a scene because he would come in and just just go to work on the scene and you you were surprised that the set was still standing when he was done i mean he was acting upside down what 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 about that was groundbreaking what about that was uh, instrumental in forming the way actors behaved after that bob i i can't answer that i'm going to answer that <laughs> I mean, when, when you see it now, at the time, I'm sure it was groundbreaking. When you see it now, it doesn't seem to have withstood the test of time. James Dean in that particular film. He does not withstand the test. J James Dean, to my eye, does not, is not timeless in his role in the East of Eden. Are you going to feel the same way about us in 20 years? <laughs> Well, not both of you. <laughs> oh, God.
Oh, I think man. It's appropriate... Hey, we're having some fun now, are we? It's an, this is an appropriate time for me to say that's why this man's been doing this for 28 years. Yeah, I do. Okay. We'll be right back with Robert De Niro and Dustin Hoffman, ladies and gentlemen.